Whether you're a competitive player or a casual player, reaction time is something we will all like to improve. Being able to react faster than the enemy player can give you an advantage that no other skill can replicate. Welcome, my name is Blink and in this channel I try to give you the latest discoveries in scientific research to help you improve at League of Legends. So if you're interested in new ways to improve that are based on studies about neuroscience and psychology, consider subscribing. Recent studies have shown that reaction time slows down with age, at a dramatic rate of 0.55 milliseconds per year. But in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can slow down this process and even improve your current reaction time. Reaction time was first studied by Francis Galton. In the late 19th century, from 1884 to 1893, he recorded a visual reaction time that ranged from 181 to 189 milliseconds in subjects ranging from 18 to 60 years. Recent reaction time studies have measured a range from 200 to 220 milliseconds as average, significantly slower than two centuries ago. But this is in part due to timing delays introduced by the computer hardware and software that we use today to measure reaction time. So we can part from the same baseline if we calculate the hardware and software delays of today's reaction time measurement programs. In the study, they calculated a delay of 17.8 milliseconds. But in sites like Human Benchmark, they suggest to subtract 30 milliseconds from your results to find your real reaction time. But still, our reaction time slows down 0.55 milliseconds per year, and this is causing a lot of players to quit their careers in their 20s, when in other sports this is thought to be your prime years. So, what is causing this decline in reaction time, and what can we do about it? There are a number of reasons for this loss of reaction time. It could be a concussion or an injury, where people lose activity in the brain, a disease like Alzheimer's, Parkinson or multiple sclerosis. But if you're a healthy individual, what causes this drop in reaction time with age? Poor diet and life choices can lead your brain to underperform and decline at a faster rate. Having a proper diet that ensures a healthy brain will boost your reaction time by improving your overall cognitive function. But before going into specific foods that can improve your reaction time, I want to talk about sugar and how a high sugar diet can impair your brain's ability to function optimally. In this paper published by the Journal of Psychology, the authors investigate the metabolic consequences of a high sugar intake coupled with a deficiency of omega-3 fatty acids. As one might expect, the unhealthy diet was associated with lower cognitive scores and insulin resistance. This might be due to the degeneration of the insulin receptors in the brain, caused by the overconsumption of high sugar foods. In the vasculature, insulin is a vasodilator and increases the blood flow to promote glucose delivery to the brain. This vasodilator function is drastically reduced in insulin-resistant individuals and suggests that an impairment of insulin action is coupled to a decreased perfusion to the brain. A decreased perfusion to the brain is no surprise associated with lower cognitive function scores, dementia and lower brain volume. So preventing insulin resistance and getting enough omega-3 is a priority if we want to reverse cognitive decline and improve our reaction time. This means we have to improve our diets. First, start by adding nitrates to your diet. Nitrates are natural chemicals found mostly in green leafy vegetables that your body uses to produce nitric oxide, which is known to be a vasodilator. The authors of the study suggest to maintain optimal cerebral perfusion with a diet high in nitrates, which has been shown to improve blood flow of the brain in adults. In this study, the improvement in blood flow to the brain is so high that just one serving a day of green leafy vegetables is equivalent of being 11 years younger in cognitive function. This finding is extremely inspiring. It means that pro players no longer have to be worried about retiring in their 20s. Now they can play way beyond what was thought to be the point where cognitive decline starts to matter. An example of foods high in nitrates are beetroot, oak leaf lettuce, spinach, 
kale and one of my favorites, broccoli. Now you know why Faker eats broccoli on stage. But if you want to get the most bang for your buck, the highest nitrate vegetables are rocket or rucola, beet greens, agarula, butter leaf lettuce, and rhubarb, having the highest nitrate content per milligram. The next thing will be to find a reliable source of omega-3, preferably DHA, which has the most useful form of omega-3 for your body. This can be found almost on any fish. The daily recommended dose by most health organizations is between 250 and 500 milligrams per day. For vegans and vegetarians, the best thing will be to consume flax seeds, chia seeds and nuts, but also have a DHA supplement like algae derived DHA. Berries, especially blueberries, have been shown to improve reaction time by 9% in children and healthy adults thanks to their flavonoid content which boosts nerve cell communication. But this doesn't just limit to reaction time. Numerous studies have found that flavonoids can improve executive function, attention, working memory, and psychomotor processing speed. And as you can see, they also improve cerebral blood flow, which as we saw before, it's associated with faster reaction time. So I suggest consuming a cup or 100 grams of fresh or frozen blueberries 30 minutes to an hour before starting to play. Now let's talk about what you should avoid in order to not damage your brain. As we saw before, high sugar diet is linked to lower cognitive scores because of the degeneration of the insulin receptors in your brain. To prevent this, we need to avoid high sugar and processed foods like cookies, cakes, candy, bakery, carbonated drinks like sodas, and replace them with healthier options like nuts, seeds, fruits and vegetables. Caffeine is another common problem in the esports industry. On moderate doses, 100 to 200 mg, caffeine improves cognition, but this can be easily exceeded if you're consuming energy drinks. Some energy drinks contain up to 300 mg of caffeine per can. Caffeine intake at very high doses, exceeding 500 to 600 mg, can cause an anxiety, tremor, tachycardia, so be mindful of your caffeine intake. Apart from diet, there is other life choices you can make to improve your reaction time, like exercise and meditation. If you're interested in meditation, you should check my science-based video about it. Myelination is another thing to be aware of. In a previous video, I explained the process of myelination, where the brain myelinates some of its neurons to increase the speed at which electrical signals travel. To make sure you are producing myelin effectively, check my video on myelination. In order to not make this video too long, I will be doing a part 2 where I will be covering natural herbs and synthetic supplements that improve your reaction time and how to practice effectively. Alright guys, this is gonna ramp up everything for this video. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a professional in the medical field, I'm just showing the current scientific research available to improve your reaction time and how to slow down age-related cognitive decline. But before doing any dramatic changes in your diet or taking supplements, you should consult your doctor first. 